Well, hello there. How y'all doing on today? Shalom, shalom, somebody. Praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah, somebody. Glory to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Sanda, sovereign, holy God of Israel, our Father, who art thou in the heaven. Hallelujah. We give him praise. We raise and lift him up. Lift up the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior and Master. Our King, our Redeemer, somebody praise Him. Oh, come Holy Spirit, as I give you the glory, I give you the praise and the honor. You alone are worthy of all the glory and all the honor. I praise your presence, Holy Spirit. Oh, I praise you, I praise you, I praise you. I give you praise, I give you praise, I give you praise. Hallelujah. Oh, what a glorious season, somebody. How y'all doing on today? And sorry, I'm a little late with this word, but you know better late than never. And the Lord has given me permission to release this word, this important word from God on today. And it was Jesus himself who revealed to me, hallelujah, of his miraculous power. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I am in love with him, and I give him the glory, and I give him the praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God, somebody. And I tell you, I welcome y'all on in today for this word is targeted for those who are destined in the kingdom of God, the true saints of God, hallelujah. And I am telling you that uh, we are in an exciting time, swift changes, dramatic changes, powerful things are going on in the kingdom of God, somebody. And God says, I'm going to make something out of your nothing. You know, a lot of us are at the, uh, a, 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 a lot of ones are right in the end, this, that, and the other, I don't know what I'm going to do. And this, and I tell you, he said, I'm going to make something out of your nothing. I'm going to meet you at nothing. I'm going to meet you where you there's nothing left. I tell you, it's just like when the uh, uh, he sent the uh, prophet Elijah to the widow at Zarephath, and, and, and he, he met her with nothing. Y'all better praise God. Something is coming out of that nothing, y'all. That 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 last dollar in the bank account, that uh ha, no more credit where everything has dried up, where the brook has dried, where the, the well has run dry, somebody. I hear the Lord. He says, I'm gonna make something out of your nothing. How many know that God specializes in making something out of nothing? For he formed with the sun and the sky, the universe and everything, all his great works. Somebody praise him because the Lord is with his people. He is concerned about our needs, concerned about our, our, our work, our ministries, our jobs, our households. He's concerned about his people. And the Lord says in Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 14, he says that I would make you plenteous in goods. And there's no more lack. There's not a season to be lack. So you need to be, if you have repented and turned, if you are in the line, if you are, hallelujah, staying up on this holy God, then something is coming out of nothing. And it's by the hand of the Father. And I'm going to read this word in Matthew, and somebody follow along with me. In Matthew uh, chapter 15. And we're going to read from 32 to 38 is the word that the Holy Spirit gave me in this research. And it says, then Jesus called his disciples unto him. And he said, I have compassion on the multitude because they continue with me now three days and have nothing to eat. And I will not send them away fasting lest they faint in the way. And his disciples say unto him, When should we have so much bread in the wilderness as to fill such a great multitude? And Jesus said unto them, How many loaves have ye? And they said, Seven, and a few little fishes. And he commanded the multitude, he said, Sit down on the ground. And he took the seven loaves and the fishes, and he gave thanks. Somebody praise God. 
and break them and gave to his disciples and the disciples to the multitude. And they did all eat, somebody say all of them, and were filled and they took up of the broken meat that was left seven baskets full. I said seven baskets full. And they did eat, they that did eat were four thousand men beside women and children. That's a miracle. That's a multiplication miracle. That's a miracle of increase, divine increase. Somebody better hear God. And you might need to read that word all this week over your life, declaring the power of God. Somebody better praise him. He says God is going to make something out of nothing. I'm telling you, Matthew 15, 32 through 38. He did it on this earth and he'll do it from heaven. Your vast shall be full, you servants of the Lord. Your cupboards, once bare, will receive of my abundance, saith the Lord. And that which was once a barren place in your life will be full. And I will comfort you and increase you on every side. I am the Lord, the God of the harvest. Somebody praise him. And I am Jehovah Jireh. For I will turn the tables on the darkness and them that feed, fed from your allowance, that feed off you, to steal and ravish what you have for yourself. Yes, lack will become plenty and drought will become abundance of rain. For I am performing the miraculous to multiply and to increase you my precious children, somebody praising, to expand your territory. And yes, you who are my chosen few, my faithful ones who trust in me, you shall know the power of my mighty hand to save you. For I will shout to you and those and them that which belongs to you. For I thrive in what seems impossible. Oh, hallelujah. For nothing is impossible for your God. Get ready and ready your spirit and sing praise and rejoice. For I will make something out of your nothing. Yes, I will perform the miracle of divine increase, says the Father, the sovereign God. And again, I say, he had compassion on this multitude because they continued with him. We walk with the Lord and we've walked with him for years, for years and years, even years, this high, this low, this up, this down, somebody praise God. And Jesus is having compassion upon his very own people. I tell you, the face of God has turned toward his people, y'all. And he says, I have, they have nothing to eat. And I will not send them away fasting. Look at God. Lest they faint in the way. Emergency assistance, divine assistance, rental assistance, mortgage assistance. Help is on the way. I want you to know that God, is coming into that account, whatever. I tell you, I, 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 I'm looking at accounts where they make about $1.50. God said, I'm going to make something from that nothing. God can take that $1.50 and make it 150000 God can multiply anything, increase, angelic hosts. They have been released with the, with, with the mandate to increase the people of God. 
Y'all better hear me. Backed up miracles and backed up blessings, withheld things, things that were held up in satanic vault. And again, he said, I would go before thee, make the crooked places straight, iron out everything, straighten out your situation, get the wrinkles out of your life. And then he said, I would show you and reveal to you the treasures in the deep. That was Satan took, stole, hid, blocked. Somebody praise God. This is going to take a miracle. And it's going to take your faith. And this is where the rubber meets the road. For God is, has, His power has lined up. And supernatural is going to be the way forward. Somebody say supernatural. You're not looking for natural. You're looking for supernatural. So Jesus said, how many loaves have you? And they said seven and a few little fishes. And he commanded the multitude to sit, sit down on the ground. This is powerful. And he took the seven loaves and the fishes and gave thanks and break them. Do you, re you realize he multiplied them right then after he gave thanks? Somebody better praise God. Those seven loaves and few fishes fed over 4,000 people. Y'all not hearing me. As soon as the master shows up, as soon as that angel comes, divine increases his name. As soon as he shows up, things will begin to multiply. I told y'all yesterday by the winds of his spirit, He's pouring out the winds of his spirit. Why? To clear the atmosphere. To clear the place for the blessing somebody. Make sure you're one of his. And they all ate. And they were filled. And they took up the broken meat that was left. Seven baskets for somebody. So not only will he meet the need, but he's going to overflow. I'm excited about this because I believe so much in miracles. I've seen them in my life with my walk with Heavenly Father. Maybe that's why I'm so sold out because I have actually, God has actually performed miracles for me. My husband will tell you, I am excited to hear the testimonies of what God has done. Jesus is about to increase his people. He gonna give thanks over us and release the increase somebody. And I prophesied for the Holy Ghost and I stand on the will and the word and the power of God and the blood all over this word and bind up every backlash, naysaying, every disbelief, every evil eye. We destroy it in Jesus' blood and loose that dunamis power of God. Miracles. Like and subscribe somebody. And I, those of you peeking in for the first time, go on and subscribe and like and give us a good comment somebody we gonna erase the bad ones anyway <laughs> well we got good sense glory to god praise the lord and we have a great sense of humor we are a kingdom family a kingdom uh, ministry if you'd like to become a partner you are welcome to come on in and support us and uh, tell you it's time uh, the door is open. Go to www.kingdompowerministriesintl.com and click become a partner, if you will. And uh, you can fill out the contact form. And uh, there's a comment section. You can put in all the accurate information, email, phone. If there's an apartment number, there must be a complete address as how to get this partnership package into the mail, into your hands, so that it's not returned. Glory to God and go scroll down the same uh, page to donations and get your first seed into partnership with us 
We pray over every seed and lift it before our Father. We fear the Lord. Glory to God. Also, our faith statement is on that same website. You'll click faith statement. You'll see what our beliefs are. Glory to God. Also, uh, you can support us with your love, gifts, and offerings and sow into the work of the Lord through this powerful ministry. I tell you, if he's ministering to you, say, I want to help you out, Apostle. I want to go. I want to I, I make sure that there's everything needed to do what God wants you to do behind the scenes and grow this ministry that is not sold its soul, that is not sold out, that fears God that the Lord God is our Father who art thou in the heavens. Somebody better praise God and we are Holy Ghost filled, Holy Ghost based. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Go to www.kingdompowerministriesintl.com and click donations and there you'll find several avenues to get your seeds into the ground while there's multiplication while there's divine increase while the acts of God are going forward we will be speaking that divine increase and we'll be speaking uh, Deuteronomy 111 blessing to Tavoshata in the name of Jesus glory to God I believe God. I love him. I trust him. He's for us, not against us. He, And I can't wait to hear from you. We love you so much. I was excited. The enemy fought this word all morning. My husband would tell you, he fought it twice. He fought it from trying to come up. He tried to mute the first one so that you won't hear this word of increase. I don't know somebody is in warfare, in lack, and all that, and they got they don't want you to hear this. But God says, "Don't stop. I am with thee." Somebody praise God. So y'all, I tell you, when a prophet is bringing a word, and it's a true word from the Lord, and you know the Holy Spirit is with that ministry and upon that anointed one. Glory to God then you ought to bless and help them and support those ministries as they fight sometimes through the spiritual airways to get a word out. Hallelujah. We love you so much. I'm excited, y'all. Get ready for your new, for your next. Get ready to go higher and go forward. And it's a good time to know where you're going. It's a good time to seek God. God, what do you have for me? What do you want me to do? It's time to be ready, y'all. Ain't no more dress rehearsal. He's here. I love y'all, and I mean that. Shalom. Shalom.